name's Charlie Brinson and I'm with the Titanoboa project. We're from Vancouver, BC and we're down at CS uh, this year to showcase the giant electromechanical snake. So this is Titanoboa. It has 20 custom welded aluminum vertebrae, 40 hydraulic cylinders, all working in tandem as mus the muscles of the snake and they're just providing that propulsion, propulsion action and the slithering motion back and forth. Right. So um, basically the snake is controlled. Um, each of the cylinders has kind of like a closed loop control um, that's run by an Arduino microcontroller. And it's kind of done in packets of five vertebrae at a time. So each five vertebrae has its own brain. And the, all those little brains uh, coordinate together to provide that overall slithering motion. And it, it can go side to side? Yeah, so it can go side to side now, and uh, we're just starting to implement these vertical cylinders on the bottom, which will give it the capability of doing 3D motion, so like, it'll be able to do a sidewinding kind of course through. And that'll help us out a lot when we're in kind of rough terrain, sandy terrain, on grass and stuff like that. Right. So now, this was originally brought out to Burning Man? Yeah, so it was a, it was a funded project in 2011. Uh, we just barely got it done, and we had a lot of technical issues on the playa, so... Since then, we've been kind of innovating and improving it by adding like belly scales and a variety of other features to enable it to work on the playa better the next time. So hopefully this year we're going to take it back down there and just rock around in the desert all over the place. Right. And why is it at CES? Uh, it's at CES because uh, we're here, Lenovo has brought us here because they are one of the people who help us with this project. Like It's all volunteer based labor and we rely on kind of uh, grants and sponsorships from companies like Lenovo. They've given us a bunch of computer gear to um, to do our solid like solid works design and our computer coding and stuff like that. And so we're showcasing kind of the type of project that you can do when you have uh, good computers. And what's the uh, relationship, um, maybe from a technical perspective, between between this and the Mondas Spider? Okay, so the, yeah, the Mondas Spider was built um, in 2006. I was part of the team that built that. It's largely a mechanical, strictly mechanical, with uh, just a battery electric system that we added. And then, so this project uh, kind of was the next evolution of, of the, in the foundation called EDART, that kind of is the umbrella organization. And so I had the idea to do this, and then I brought on board all these other people, because I'm a mechanical guy, so I need guys like James and Julian here to, like, um, to help me do the computer coding and all the electronics. Because this is like a really multidisciplinary project. It involves pretty much every aspect of engineering you can okay. think of. Yeah. Cool. And uh, so, what will, you, what will you be doing with it here at CES? Uh, we're just going to be kind of slithering, slithering around the outside of the Lenovo tent. Um, we'll be trying to use this, these new tablets we got from Lenovo, and we've written this Android app to try and get diagnostics from the snakes. So as we're showing this thing off, we're going to be learning more about how the the parameters the involved in the snake, like the voltages and the current draw and stuff like that behave while it's slithering. So it's kind of like we're almost in, like learning about it and developing it as we're showing it off. Got it. Yeah. Cool. Thanks very much. Yeah, no worries, man.